All right, welcome back to Mad English TV. Today we're going to take a look at this question here. What is irony? What is irony? Have you ever heard that word before? Irony? Well, it's a pretty common word, you know, especially if you watch movies or if you do anything really in our culture in an English speaking country, you're going to hear this, all right? It's a very it's a very common thing. It's an idea. Okay, so it's a, it's kind of like a concept. It's not iron like the word iron is like a metal right well it's also considered like a vitamin right if you if you buy multivitamins you know it'll have like vitamin c vitamin b you know and an iron will be one of those things so it's kind of a is that iron the same as like i don't know if is this iron yeah i think uh these these tripod legs are it's like metal right anything that's kind of like i don't know if you can see my tv stand here but you can hear that right that's iron or steel or i don't know I'm, i don't really even know what iron is <laughs> if you know what iron is let me know down in the comments because you probably know better than me but this word has nothing to do with iron okay irony oh and another uh <laughs> to iron right some people iron their clothes i never iron my clothes let me know do you iron your clothes it's like that thing that you make like you you, you get the wrinkles out of your clothes that thing is called an iron all right so this this word has nothing to do with vitamins with metal with irons right it, it's irony right it's and it's an idea it's kind of a concept okay so what is it let's 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 look at a definition okay it's something so something is strange or funny because it involves a contrast okay so some some situation um, is strange or it's kind of humorous right um, because it involves some kind of a contrast Do you know what a contrast is right contrast is like black and white Right, black and white are contrasts, right? So, so some situation that's that's like, I don't know. It's there's some kind of a some kind of a contrast. Let's look at some examples, right? The best way to learn is through looking at examples. So, <laughs> take a look at this picture here. Here we have a well, a Tesla car, and a tree, you know, has fallen onto the Tesla and is kind of crushed the Tesla. Okay, so um, Tesla is a car company that makes electric cars. You've probably heard of Elon Musk. He's uh, the world's richest man, right? So he he invented this company, you know, electric car company called Tesla. So, so what's going on here? Why is this picture ironic? Why is this the situation ironic? Right. If if something is ironic, that means it, it has something to do with irony. Right. Irony is the noun. Ironic is the adjective, I guess. Adjective. Right. So. So what what's 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 the contrast here? Remember, I said it's something that involves kind of a it's a funny thing that kind of involves some contrast. So the tree and the Tesla. Well, what 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 is tesla it's an electric vehicle and why do people buy electric cars well they buy electric cars because they are environmentally friendly right that's why people buy cars i mean yeah they save money but the whole idea behind electric cars is, is so that they they help the environment right they're environmentally friendly so teslas are friendly to the environment well, this is funny because the tree is the environment, right? When we talk about the environment, what do we mean? We mean the air, we mean trees, you know, protecting nature, wildlife, right? So, but here it's funny because the tree is attacking the Tesla. So nature, like like the Tesla is helping nature, but nature has crushed has crushed the Tesla. Right. So it's it's funny because there's that contrast there. Right. I mean, the tree like 
should have crushed any of those other vehicles, right? I'm sure all those vehicles over there are gas-powered vehicles, right? So those are bad for the environment. So those the tree should have crushed those ones. But it's just, it's ironic, because it's ironic that the tree crushed the Tesla when the Tesla is the electric vehicle that's supposed to be environmentally friendly and the environment is attacking the Tesla. So it's kind of, a, it's a funny situation, right? It's, it's something that is, uh, it's ironic. Well, let's look at another, another example of irony here. So here we have a fire hydrant, okay? If you come to Canada, walk around every neighborhood, every block, there's going to be maybe every, maybe there's a couple every block. I'm not sure. I haven't really paid attention to that. But if you just walk out, walk down a street, you're going to see tons of these. These are called fire hydrants. And the purpose is that when the fire, when you call like the fire truck, right, the fire truck comes and then how do they get water? They connect like the hose, the fire hose there, and then they get water out of the ground, right, from the fire hydrant and they put out the fire in your house. Okay, so so why is this ironic? Well, it's ironic because the fire hydrant itself is on fire, right? So the thing that's supposed to be used to put out fires is itself on fire. So that's the contrast. That's kind of the fu the funny, you know, just that's that's what irony is. <laughs> it's, it's it's I mean, like the the only purpose of a fire hydrant is to put out fires. It's it's not supposed to be on fire itself, right? So it's just funny, right? Um, here's another example. Here's a sign that says, you're in America, speak English. You're in America, speak English. Okay, so the person who made this sign is basically telling everybody to speak English in America, right? America is how people, Americans call the USA, right? You, you know, in most countries, like like uh, in Canada, for example, we usually call America the states. We say the states. So, you know, I'd say, oh, are you from the states? Where are you from? Oh, yeah, I've been to the states. You know, so we call that country the states um, or the U.S. Or some, sometimes maybe people would say the U.S.A. or the U.S. of A. or the United States. United States of America. It's got a lot of names, but but people in this country, <clears throat> like Americans, call their country America. Okay, most of the time. So here it says, "You're in America. Speak English." This is ironic because this word "your" is misspelled. Okay, it should be "you are." Right? You Y O U apostrophe R-E, right? So it's the wrong your, right? Very often people get that confused, your and your, or their, their, and their, right? Common mistakes. It's just, it's funny because this person is telling other people to speak English and the person can't speak English proper where they, they, they made an English mistake, right? So it's ironic that there's that contrast there, right? You're, you're kind of telling everybody to do something and then you can't do it yourself. So yeah, um, let's look at another situation. I love this one. <laughs> so, so here we see there's a picture of two girls. I don't know if you can see very well. It, I wish I could have found a bigger picture here. But um, so there's there's two girls playing ping pong on the TV. So they're, they're playing some kind of a video game. Um, they're playing ping pong. And it's funny because the, there's a ping pong table right here, right? They could just, they could just play real life ping pong, but they're playing, <laughs> they're playing the TV ping pong. Isn't that ironic? It's ironic because th it's right here. The tape, the, 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 the ping pong table is right here and they're playing over there on the TV. So that's ironic. Right there's that contrast, right? Um, now I was just gonna say that uh, that the real name for the sport is table tennis, but most people here in Canada and the U.S. I think call it ping pong. Okay, so you know, 
something you might want to know when you come here. You know, if you, it's just a more casual word for table tennis. Like you, you'd say, hey, you want to come over and play some ping pong? You know, most people wouldn't say, do you want to come over and play some table tennis? That's just not how we talk here. You could say that. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, it's just much more common to say ping pong. Now, there's a sport, <laughs> kind of a funny a game that people play here at parties it's very co it's a common party game it's called beer pong okay um it's like it's kind of like ping pong but with beer so the idea is you have a table it can be any table it doesn't need to be a ping pong table right so so you get some ping pong balls and you get some of these cups and you fill the cups with beer or you i don't know maybe half full with beer or something and you bounce, you bounce the ball on the table and you try to get it into one of those cups, right? If you get it into a cup, then that person has to drink the beer in that cup, right? And then that person takes a turn. They bounce the ball on the table. If they get it into the cup, then you have to drink the beer in that cup. Okay, it's really, really probably the most common party game or one of the most common party games. It's called beer pong. Okay, it's just a it's just a drinking game, right? Any any kind of you know party games that uh, that involve alcohol are called drinking games. So the idea is usually anyway the idea in drinking games is you're supposed you're trying to get the other person to drink to get drunk, right? So. Whoever loses the whoever's losing is probably going to have to do most of the drinking. Now it could be with beer, it could be with shots of whatever. Um, but yeah, it's uh, those are drinking games. Let me know. Have you ever have you ever played a drinking game? Let me know down in the comments if uh, what what that drinking game was and if you if you enjoyed it. But here in Canada and the states, you know, it's a very common. It's a very common game to play, like to play beer pong and other kinds of drinking games. Um, well, let's look at one more example here. So, um, so here it says, parents told me to play outside. Done. Okay, so <laughs> look at this. Okay, so the person, the kid has taken his computer screen, flipped it around and has taken the the keyboard outside on the windowsill. This is like the this area kind of in front of a window, whether it's inside or outside, it's called a window sill, right? So the kid has taken the keyboard outside and is still playing the game. <laughs> so it's, a, it's just a funny situation. It's, it's an example of irony, right? Because clearly the parents the parents said, hey, you know, stop playing, you know, computer games, go play outside, All right? They wanted the kid to get some fresh air, you know, maybe go play, play in the park, play baseball, play, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. They wanted the kid to just, to not just sit in front of the screen all day, right? They want to limit the kid's screen time. Uh, like if you... Uh, on devices like if you buy a new iPhone or iPad, you know, very often you, you'll be able to, like a parent will be able to to limit the screen time. That means how 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 much time the kid can spend using the, the iPad or the iPhone or whatever, like playing games, right? Because it's not good to just spend your whole life staring at a screen, right? The parents want the kid to go get some fresh air, play outside, right? And um, <laughs> so that's what they meant. But the, the kid said, okay, you know, parents told me to play outside, done. So he is outside. He's playing his computer games outside. <laughs> but it's, it's just so funny. So that's ironic. It's a, kind of a, an example of irony. All right. So, you know, when you, think of, when you think of irony, think of kind of like this sarcastic humor, right? Something sarcastic. You know, sarcastic is almost like uh, when you say something that you don't mean, or, or, or you, you, you know, you say something and you mean the opposite. Like if, for example, if you were to say something to me, like, uh, you know, maybe something about my hair, say, hey, Mark, uh, 
you know, oh, you must really love short hair, something like that, or some comment, a comment about my hair being short. Well, it would be, it would be ironic because my hair's not short. Look at that. This is the longest I've ever had my hair in my life. It's super long. So you're, you're kind of making, you're making the opposite. You're kind of telling me the opposite of what it is. So that's kind of sarcastic. So really sarcasm and irony are kind of the same, kind of the same idea, right? And remember, it's kind of, it's usually humorous. So when we, when we talk about irony, you know, most of the time, most of the time, the situations are kind of humorous, right? Like, like I said, you know, the Tesla with the tree, the picture, you know, or the fire hydrant on fire. It's ironic and it's, it's funny, right? It's, it's kind of funny. You know, I, uh, I remember when I, when was that? I don't know, maybe like 15 years ago, I worked at a golf course, um, just for a summer and there was a guy a really funny guy I worked with. His name was Jeff. He was a good guy. And uh, he, (laughs) there was a situation where it was at the end of the summer and they were doing exit interviews. Do you know what an exit interview is? It's kind of dumb. I don't know why companies do this, but um, companies, when you leave the company, they often kind of give you an interview called an exit interview. Um, you know, when you get a job, right? You To get the job, you have to, to have an interview, right? And then if you get the job, you, you get it and you work. But then when you leave, they do another interview called an exit interview, which is, I don't know, I don't understand why, but anyway. So they ask questions like, you know, um, what did you think of the job? Was it, uh, you know, d- did it meet your expectations? You know, what did you think the salary was fair? You know, those kind of questions. Can we improve anything, you know, in, in our company to attract other workers? They ask those kind of dumb questions. So one of the one of the questions they asked me in that exit interview, well, they asked everybody this. So they, they asked, you know, was the was the salary fair? It was like $13 an hour. I think that's what it was. We were all making $13 an hour. And they asked us, do you think the wage, the, you know, $13 an hour is a fair wage? <laughs> so the guy, Jeff, he, uh, he was really serious. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, uh, what did he say? Now he said something like, no, I it's, he said, it's too high. I would, I would like a lower wage. Something like that. <laughs> it was, he was expecting like a lower wage. He wanted a lower wage. It was too high. It's just funny because nobody says that, right? I mean, who says I want to be paid less? You know, everybody either said it's fair or I would like a bit more. All right. But he was the only person who said it's too high. <laughs> give us lower, give us less money. So that was funny. Um, he had a good sense of humor. So that's an example of irony, right? Where, you know, you think a person is going to say one thing or they should, they're expected to say one thing, but they, they actually do completely the opposite. Um, so anyway, that's, that's, uh, ironic. That was a funny memory that uh, I had about that job. Um, but anyway, let's do some homework. I want you to tell me about something ironic that you've experienced in your life. So I told you my job at the golf course and uh, some of the other examples. We took a look at the, um, you know, a boy playing a game outside or the uh, the two girls playing ping pong on the TV and not the the real life ping pong. That's <laughs> that's crazy. But um, yeah, so 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 think about think of a situation, um, something in your life that's ironic. Okay, and then and then let me know that situation down in the comments. So that's your homework. Guys, hope you have a great day. Is it the weekend? No, it's uh, making this on Monday. Monday. So it's the start of the week. Rats. Weekend is over. So if you're, if you don't like something, you can say rats. So guys, hope you have a great week. Um, Stay healthy, stay happy. As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for always tuning into my videos, for always smashing like and for leaving your nice comments. Really appreciate that. So um, have a great week. And with that, I'll sign out. All right. See you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. 
Take care.